Hello, my name is Eric Hill. Today I'm going to show the uh, interesting test results using the combination of a Behringer DEQ2496 and a DCX2496. What this video is going to show is that when the units are connected via the uh, digital output and input that at, uh, when the DEQ is set to 96K, when the sample rate is set to 96K, that uh, the, uh, the DCX doesn't like that. We'll show that the uh, um, meters bounce around and so we're going to drive the uh, we're going to drive the DEQ with a 1K test signal and first of all we're going to show that the sample rate is set to 96K and we'll flip over to the meters and we're going to drive the LEDs just so that they hit negative 6 it's just the value that I chose. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so we just hit negative six. Hit restart. I'm sorry, clear the peaks there. And uh, we show that the uh, peak values are at negative 5.9 and the RMS is at negative 8.9. So from that we can conclude that the LED meters are reflecting the peak values and not the RMS values, which is a good thing to know. Um, let's go ahead and turn the DCX on. Both these units, by the way, have been factory reset. And in just a moment, we're going to see that the input and the output go wonky. But we still show that the uh, the input. It's very evident that the input on the DEQ is stable. The output and the input on the DCX certainly isn't. Now let's go ahead and switch over. Let's change the sample rate to 88.2, which is the next one down. Everything's stable there. Everything is stable at 48. at 44.1 and now let's go back up to 96 it's a brand new AES EBU cable not a uh, typical mic cable but a uh, AES EBU cable from Monster the infamous Monster brand So, other cables, although that's a brand new cable, other cables show the, uh, the same result as well. So, in conclusion, there is a problem at 96K, at uh, least with these units.